Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Yuri, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make uh, setups for tank chassis cars in Roblox in the current year of 2023. Uh, over the years, there have been several physics changes, uh, and that has quite dramatically changed how we set up cars uh, for row racing. I believe that tank chassis, for me personally, is the most exciting and I think skill based chassis out there. The racing that we have in tank chassis row racing is very close and competitive and it's been a joy to be part of for the last five or so years. So okay, effectively what I've got in front of me are two cars. The white car here is an indie car for a league called IRS. I've been asked to do the setup for it. Um, and the other car is from a league called, called RRC. Uh, it's a league that was held across many years, but this car was from a few years ago. And my friend has told me if I could make the setup for the Indy car somewhat like the Mercedes, that would be great. But how do I go about that? Or how would you go about it? Or just set up any car at any point? I'm going to show you. The first step is going to be your wheels, your tires. Um, what I would do in this case, I want to replicate this car. I'm going to click on the front wheel here. I'm going to scroll down in my properties, which you can find in viewfinder in properties on the left. And by the way, I have a, um, a texture pack on my studio. It's just for my own benefits. Um, but everything is the same, just it looks different with different colors. You're going to want to select your wheel, scroll down in properties, find custom and physical properties and drop down the menu. Um, this may be unchecked, but you want to check it. And in this case, we're looking at the friction value. The friction on the front wheels is going to be 0.55. So I'm going to replicate that in my car. I'll do the same with the rears, they're 0.8. I will make the rears on my car 0.8. The next thing you're going to want to do is in the vehicle seat. So as you can see here, I've clicked on the vehicle seat and looking here, the torque of the Mercedes is 9.8. The turn speed is 1.26. I want to copy exactly that. Okay, so that's copied across, brilliant. Um, and the final thing you want to do is to check the weight of the car. Now, there are several ways of doing this, and to be honest, you don't need an exact value. I happen to know with this Mercedes, if I hover here, that there is a singular block here that holds most of the weight of the car. If I scroll down again in properties, just below where you see custom physical properties and you drop down with this, your density and whatever, uh, there is a mass grayed out and that is a mass of 203.5. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate that in my car. And to do that, I will create a part and I'm going to scale it to the approximate wheelbase of the car, which I'm going to say is that 13 i'm going to say that the width of the car is about eight i'm going to drag that into the middle of the car which is at x equals zero i want to raise that very slightly as i don't like it being dragging on the ground that's probably about right what i want to do with it i want to remove the fact that it can cast a shadow i want to make it non-collide I want to unanchor it, it's already unanchored. I want to go into physical properties. I'm gonna make the density, make it 1.7 for the time being. Uh, I will make it consistent with the rest of the car. I will make it smooth plastic and we're gonna to want to make it transparent. So now if I look at the car, you can't see it, but it is there. And I now want to make it part of the group of the car. So that just means I'm going to put it into the chassis assembly. Um, that's 
hopefully if, if that was too quick for you, you can slow it down and kind of go step by step um, in your studio as I do it. Um, I will summarize at the end what I've done. What I'm also gonna do is make the rest of the car massless. I'll show that in just a second. But the key thing is that you want to manipulate your tires, to manipulate your vehicle seat, and to add your block that will hold the center of weight and the general weight of the car. I want to talk about tolerances really quickly, as not all of the time you're going to be copying uh, another car setup. In fact, I think that's quite rare. Um, so I would say for your front tires, depending on how you want it to feel, you'd be looking at something between 0.25 and 1. Uh, probably similar on the rear. However, I think this is trial and error. And I think somewhere in between about 0.5 and probably about 0.8 is about right. Uh, the ballast of the car, I would say your range is from about 150 to 300. In fact, in this case, I want to make the car's weight as close to the car that we're basing it off of. So I'm going to increase this to just two, and that's going to make it 208. That's roughly close enough. I'm not too bothered. And also, I'm going to make the balance look as close as possible, which I'm going to say is just about to the front, which is going to be about there, I would say. The tolerances for the vehicle seat and its things. The speed of the car can be whatever, but something in the 200s is usually acceptable. Uh, torque, depending on how heavy you make the car. If you're using a car that's about 150 in weight, probably maybe 789. If you're using one that's up to about 300, maybe you want to go up to potentially 60. Turn speed works together with the torque to kind of decide how much whip, how much kind of rotation the car has. Uh, a value of something around one is about right, but again, it's just a case of experimenting and finding what works for you. To make the objects in the car massless, I'm going to select the chassis directory. I'm going to select the children of it. And I'm going to scroll down all the way to custom physical properties. I'm going to select it. I'm going to make the density zero. And I'm going to make it massless as well and check that box. Uh, again, this property window is an absolute life lifesaver. And um, in this case, I've quickly just made pretty much the entire car uh, of zero mass. I would recommend setting your tires at a certain mass. One is probably fine. Uh, just to, I find this is helpful because it kind of mitigates uh, wobbling that you can have for a car that has lots of grip, lots of torque. Uh, I find a, a dense wheel can help that, but there's not too much you can do and generally you shouldn't have that much of an issue. Once you've come up with a set of values, I'm going to take the two cars together and I am going to go from one of my base plates to a circuit of choice and I will meet you there and we will test the cars out. Okay, so I have now entered the cars into a circuit. I'm going to test them out purely by kind of road testing them. Um, I'll start with the Mercedes. I will then move on to the Indy car and I will suggest things that we can do to make the cars more similar as it's very, very rare, if not almost impossible to get it right first time. You just have to kind of feel out the cars. So based on how the Mercedes feels, I would say it's quite a light feeling car actually. Um, it's got a little bit of snap back to it. It feels like quite a quick car if you get it right. Um, with a decent skill curve, decent rotation. And I feel like that rotation is coming from the rear of the car. And I think that that slight forwards balance is the thing that is giving it that feel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to now test out the IndyCar and we'll see where we're at. Okay, 
So I've just got in the Indy car and I can tell quite quickly that the setup isn't quite right. So big snap back there. The, the speed of the car, I didn't change actually. Um, I could put up to 260, but I feel like in this league, um, a slower car will be just fine. Uh, I'm going to say that this car feels much too heavy. I think that comes to potentially the distribution of the weight being too rearwards. Uh, that can be an effect that you feel. There's not much whip on the car, not much rotation. Um, but I don't feel like we're a million miles away. Some of the inherent values are there. And it is certainly drivable. Um, it is probably a little bit easier than the car that we just created, purely for the fact that I think it's more planted, it feels more grippy. I'm going to put that theory to the test by moving the weight that little bit more forwards. I'm going to say probably one is too much. Let's go 0.5 forward and see how that goes. Okay, yeah, that has a much lighter feel to it. It's got a bit, probably a bit too much grip still. Maybe I move the weight that little bit more forwards, but this is a big improvement from before. We're definitely getting there now. To increase the amount that the car is snapping, uh, I'm gonna go back by about 0.15, I think it's probably reasonable. Okay, so I would say now the car's probably the closest it's been. The snapback is somewhat there. Okay, we're gonna go 0.05 forward. I'm going to keep the mass as it is. And I think maybe make a slight adjustment. We're gonna maybe increase that turn speed to 1.3. See if that works and uh, hopefully this will be one of the final adjustments. As I say, massively, massively a case of trial and error especially if you're trying to replicate something existing. However, if you are just creating a, a, a new setup for your car, uh, then you haven't really got any basis. Just, just kind of work on what feels good to you. Yeah, that adjustment was the one. I've just gone 0.1 forwards on the ballast and now it is feeling just right, I think. I'm gonna put it through the probably the toughest section here as you just go off the cliff. Yeah, feels really nice, feels really good. Um, I think that's the one. Okay, so with all that being said, I think we're pretty much done. I'm just gonna recap everything that is important when creating a setup. I think the most important thing really is to get the weight balance right. Uh, and that's just gonna come down to a ratio. I, I like to kind of put a marker at the center of the wheel um, as you can see, I would say that the, the end of the ballast part here is about in the center of the rear wheel. It's a little bit further past the front wheel, probably about halfway between the, end, at the edge of the wheel and the middle of the tire. Um, you're going to need to edit your vehicle seat by scrolling all the way down, messing about with the torque and turn speed values, finding something that works for you. Uh, your tyres, I would say that, again, tolerance-wise, you're going to want probably about somewhere between 0 0.05 and 0 0.2 of a difference between the front and the rear, with the rears being more grippy. Um, your tyres probably are going to want to have ballast and, and weight to them. They will be the only other part with a weight. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it. I'm sorry if I've gone through this too quickly. Uh, as I mentioned at the very beginning, I will leave a link. You'll be able to contact me through that. It will be a Discord link. You can always add a comment. I'll try and respond to any if you have. Um, and yeah, I, I think that's basically going to summarize uh, the, the, the video, the, the concept, and hopefully I've answered your question. So, Thank you very much for watching. I've been your reality. And uh, until the next one, thank you very much. Take care and have a good one. Goodbye.